Yo, 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 what is up, and people? Welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 24 career mode. I said FIFA again, I'm sorry. <laughs> EAFC 24 career mode, there we go. Got it right this time. Doesn't really roll off the tongue like FIFA does. Um, if you are new to the channel, though, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers, nearly there. If we can get that before... I don't know, the end of the month would be crazy. I don't know, that's an ambitious goal, but um, just want to say thanks for all the overwhelming support on that first episode of the German Dream Chasers career mode. I said if we hit 50 likes, I'll upload another episode on Sunday and just absolutely smash that goal. So I don't really have the words to say how grateful I am for that. So I'll let Darwin Nunes say it for me. The words. Thank you for our support. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, boys, getting into today's episode, we've got a lot of comments to go through from the first episode, of course. Um, and also, let me get the admin stuff out the way, like the YouTube stuff, you know. So, today should be Sunday. I should have uploaded the first episode of the player career mode yesterday on Saturday. So, check the channel for the player career mode. It should be up. I hope so, anyway. I want to take me time with the player career mode. There'll probably only be one episode a week of that. Uh, maybe two, because, you know, I'm going to be so busy. Especially for these first few weeks of the new game coming out. Normal episodes of the German Dream Chasers career mode will be every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5pm UK time. So, check the channel then for that. That is right. A double upload back-to-back. -to -back. Today is Sunday. Another episode tomorrow. I am spoiling so spoil me back by subscribing and hitting that like button also check out the links in the description below you can find a link to my twitch channel i've recently started streaming on twitch i'll be playing ultimate team and pro clubs over there and eventually once we get you know a decent following on twitch i'm gonna do a twitch only career mode it's going to be a live career mode. You guys in chat are going to help me out with all the transfers and all stuff like that. And it might not even get uploaded to YouTube. So if you want to see the exclusive Twitch career mode, make sure you follow and subscribe if you want to over on Twitch. Like I say, join the Discord as well. Link in the description below. That's where all of our announcements will be shown. But let's get into today's episode, people. Like I say, a lot of comments to go through. So let's jump straight into it. For the second episode of the Traumwer Folgen uh, career mode, <laughs> the German Dream Chasers. Perhaps the biggest thing I mentioned in the last episode was the Youth Academy. We signed a five-star, five-star scout by the name of Leonard Kraus. And I asked for your help in the comments of where we should send this scout. Now, of course, our team, we really need to strengthen the defense. That was the main part where I thought, yeah, that's where we need players. The midfield's solid, we've got a great striker up front, but the defence is where we are slacking. But in the comments, EJ Attack left a comment saying send a scout to Brazil or Argentina. And that got 8 likes, which was the most liked comment, I believe, on the whole of the last video. Cold the Dumpster Child also said send a scout to Brazil. We need a Brazilian legend. Now, I would love to get a Brazilian legend at this club. You know, build him from the ground up in the Youth Academy. Ronaldinho is one of my favourite players of all time in real life. So I would love to get a technically gifted player from Brazil. However... I'm not concerned about the attack right now. You know, this is season one of the career mode. Right now, we need to focus on the areas where we are slacking, you know, so we can start winning games. Then we can look for, you know, those future stars later on because we can only afford one scout uh, and we can only afford to send one scout away, you know, because it's going to cost a lot of money. I actually don't even know if we can afford that 360k. I should hope so, bro. We're not sending them to Denmark, though. Don't worry. My go-to on career mode normally, back in the day when I used to proper sweat out the Youth Academy, I always used to send a scout to Ghana to look for uh, physically strong players. And that would always bring me back some defensive midfielders, centre-backs, full-backs. And there was always great players that came out of the continent of Africa. And tying in with that, besides the Brazil comments, the next most requested country to send are uh, scout to was none other than Nigeria. David left the comment saying, send a scout for a Nigerian centre-back. We had Lindos, I hope I haven't butchered that name, said, send a scout to Africa for uh, Nigeria and Egypt. And Justice also said, send a scout to Nigeria. So, with four different people, was that four? I can't count, saying send the scout to Nigeria. We are going to send our scout to Nigeria for nine months to look for physically strong players. Now, this suggests... Um, that we should look for a certain position, but I'm just going to leave it as it is, you know. I'm not going to put a certain position because it should just bring us back defenders anyway, you know. 
I don't want to specify center back because we could do with a full back too. So if we leave it as any position, we should get some decent defenders. Uh, and it's only 180k to send them to Nigeria. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can get some absolute ballers coming back from Nigeria. Um, obviously very talented footballers over in that country right there anyway i'm looking at you jj akotcha imagine we got a center back with five star skills bro the reincarnation of jj akotcha in center back though i got this message before as well saying marvin schmidt uh, seems below par low on energy his current training plan isn't having enough impact you might want to think about adjusting their schedule so let's have a look at marvin schmidt i don't even know uh, which one this guy was hey yo what this is not what i expected to see uh, Lenny Schmidt, it's Marvin Schmidt, the left back. Okay, change plan. Wait, what? This is not what I expected at all. I didn't... Yo. I thought that this... um, <laughs> It was going to be, you know... <laughs> all done. I thought this screen was going to take me to where you do the training plans, you know, in the squad hub. And you can change the positions and, the, and all that stuff. So, I don't know what it said that he was doing. Energy focused, all out energy. I'm going to go energy focused. I don't know. I've never done that before. That's not what I was expecting. What I was expecting was this screen. I need to show you it anyway um, in the squad hub uh, because I did change the development plans for a few players. I can show you that now. So we put Yanis Hansen uh, on a wide playmaker. We changed Marvin Schmidt to an inverted wide back. Some of these players are maxed out in the potential already. Uh, you can see Jorn Lehmann, who I said could be the German Morgan Elliott. But he's 30 years old right now. We probably won't have him for that long. But I hope he can be a baller for us while he's still here. Same with Abli Keita. Very sad that this guy is old. But it is what it is. We've also put our striker on a training plan. Hey, yo, our striker's got the finesse shot trait and the long throw trait. That is pretty pog. I like to see that. Has anyone else got traits? Block. I don't even know what that means. But let's go, Frederick G. Yeah, I actually have no idea what that does. That's cool though. I'm pretty sure none of our players last year had pinged pass trait. Hold on. Some of these players are ballers, bro. What's this one say? Incisive pass. Okay. I, like I say, I have no idea what these do. Is that a raccoon, bro? Anticipate. What the hell does that mean? I've got no idea. Oh, Guardians of the Galaxy over there. Hey, yo, this guy's got four finesse shots. Chip shot, tiki taka and rapid. Julian Bauer, 19-year-old striker. Hold on. This guy's on our bench. We might have to give him some game time here. Yeah. Four traits. I don't even know what they do. Obviously, finesse shots and chip shots make sense. But Tiki Taka as a trait and Rapid as a trait. That just means he's fast. Okay, hey, our squad, yeah, we've been blessed here with some decent players. Speaking of decent players, it's time to try and sign somebody, yeah? We've sent our scouts out. Here's how our finances look. 11 grand in the weekly wage budget and 500 grand in the current uh, transfer budget. I've added a lot of players to the transfer list, as you can see, a few of them on screen here. And we're going to go a few, uh, go through a few of them now, if I can get my words out. First comment came from Lionel Manchester City. He said, Andre Gomez, 18-year-old goalkeeper, 65 overall with 82 potential. Now, we do need a goalkeeper. If you watched the last episode, we need a goalkeeper, bro. Yeah, so we've added Andre Gomez. I'm going to wait for all the scout reports to come back before we pull the trigger on any of these signings, you know. Um, and we're going to see who we can actually just afford, who we can loan him. I've added also a lot of uh, free agents, as you can see. That's my biggest recommendation on career mode when you start off, especially a creator club like this. Scout the free agents because there's some really good looking players. You can see like a preview of the stats. Some of these players look really good. So we've added them. Look at this guy, bro. Jockey, block, slide tackle, bruiser, play style. And these traits, I, I don't get it. I'm going to have to look into them off camera, but it sounds good, you know. <laughs> My man, the Blackburn fan from Australia, I remember you, my guy, but for some reason, YouTube just has your name as user, so I don't know what to call you, and you calling your user just sounds disrespectful, but my man left a comment saying you definitely need Ashley Phillips. Now, we've added Ashley Phillips to the transfer uh, targets, 18-year-old centre-back from Tottenham Hotspur, players unwilling to relocate at this time, but uh, we probably wouldn't be able to afford a player from Tottenham anyway. Six foot three, though, I like his stature. We're going to scout him up. And this could be one for the future too. Alpha dropped a comment saying, sign a CDM who can also play as a right back like Kimmich. Now, if you watch the Liverpool game in the Europa League, I know a CDM who can play right back. We added him to the transfer targets last episode because I want to bring this guy in in the future. Stefan Bajetic. I can't wait till he's playing for my club, you know. 
This is the one guy I'm going all in. Even if I have to throw all of our money in next season or the season after, we're getting Bajetic in this team, bro. I do not care. A familiar face underneath Bajetic on this list, though. Sydney Rabiger. Thomas dropped a comment saying, maybe try to sign Rabiger again. Obviously, a familiar face uh, to anyone who watched my FIFA 23 career mode. Sydney Rabiger was our first signing at our club back then. And he ended up going on to be the club captain, winning the Premier League and the Champions League. But yeah, like right now, it says unwilling to relocate. Only a 2.5 million release clause, though, which isn't a lot of money. Maybe season two, Sydney Rabiger, we're in his country of Germany. Could we see a like revival arc, I guess, for Sydney Rabiger? And speaking of revival arcs, another familiar face on this list is Andreas Schelderup. I think I've butchered his name there, so we just call him Andreas. <laughs> Venom dropped a comment saying, Andreas is a wonder kid, LMAO, get him. Reminds me of last year at RDC. And I said, Andreas Redemption Arc, I'm here for it, you know. So Andreas, he's currently out on loan, so we can't even try and sign him anyway. He's on loan at Benfica, but next season, possibly, Andreas Redemption Arc. I'm not against it. You know, Andreas was actually a really good player. He just became a meme last year. Black Dash dropped the comment. I thought I said Black Flash, bro. I was going to make a JJK reference. But Black Dash said, sign Joe Bellingham and make him better than his brother. We had the Joe to the transfer list. Uh, or the tran I say transfer list every time. I hate myself. <laughs> transfer targets. I thought he was still at Birmingham. He's obviously moved to uh, Sunderland, I guess. I don't know ball. But Joe Bellingham, man. A lot of people told me last FIFA to sign this guy, but he wasn't even in the game when I started my career mode, so we never had the chance to sign Job. So I'm definitely interested in getting Joe Bellingham this year. And who knows, maybe like his brother tearing up the Bundesliga, maybe Job can tear up the Bundesliga once we get there in a few seasons' time. Speaking of players who I think can tear up the league, Ben Doak, right winger from Liverpool. If you know about Liverpool, you know about this guy right here. Yeah, this guy, absolute baller. I think he'll be very cheap as well. Pretty sure he's only like 60 odd rated or something. So once the scout report comes back, I'm definitely interested in getting Ben Doak here. If we can just get him on loan, maybe unwilling to relocate. I don't know whether that means you can't buy them, but you can loan them. We'll have to wait and see. Another absolute baller from the youth section of the world. The youth section of the world. That doesn't even make sense. What am I saying, bro? <laughs> Mathis Tell. This guy scored against uh, Manchester United the other day in the Champions League. This guy looks very promising as a baller, you know, and I'm pretty sure he should have high potential in game. Can play striker, left mid, right mid, all over the attack. I love to see it. Six foot tall striker, four star, four star, 18 years old. This is the guy I want leading our team in the future, boys, up front. I'm telling you right now, this is our future striker. Speaking of future strikers, EJ dropped a comment saying, sign Christiansen, Christiansen, oh my God, I can't read today. Christian Rasmussen from Ajax, 62 rated, 77 potential. Now the 62 rated is what attracted me to this guy because, you know, it'd be low rated, easier to sign players who are low rated and with decent potential. That sounded very attractive. However, he's currently out on loan, so we can't sign him this season, which is unfortunate to see. And bro, I've lost the comment now, but somebody said to sign Hodgland and I'm just like, there's no chance we can sign this guy from United. Absolutely no way would they sell him to us for, like, I don't know. We'd probably need to pay, like, 50 million minimum, I'm guessing. Um, but, yeah, he's on the transfer list because I, I just want to see what rating he is, you know? So, we're going to scout him. We've got all these free agents, too. I'm going to wait for all the scout reports to come back, and then we can um, decide who we're signing. The scout's gone out as well, so we'll see if he brings us back any decent players. Oh, my God. That is a blast from the past. Salil Ozkan. If you know about this guy, bro, oh, back in the day, I used to sign this guy on every single career mode. He was like 18 or 17. Shout out to Chani Sports because he's the one who put me onto Ozkan, obviously the Turkish link. Um, this guy as well used to be a career mode beast. Don't know if he still is. I'm going to actually scout him up and shortlist him, but he's on loan. I really like this guy though. Really do like that guy. Okay, anyway, that's all the transfer stuff and what I'm thinking. I've explained all of that. Now, what we need to do is get back to winning ways because as we saw last episode, Cash Money Mark, yeah, his first game in Germany was a loss and we can't be having that. So let's get into the preseason tournament. I do want to try and uh, perform well in this preseason tournament and win it because we need the cash, boys. <laughs> oh, there's actually one more thing before we get into the gameplay. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I messed up. <laughs> I messed up with um, our coaches. 
So I just signed coaches based on the star rating. Didn't realize that each coach had a different tactical vision. Obviously, we picked the Gagan press. Everyone got on me in the comments because I called it G-Gen press. Like, allow me in it. That's, that's the English pronunciation, G-Gen press. But I've never actually heard the word said out loud. Like I say, this is my go-to tactic on Football Manager. So I'm familiar with the tactic itself. Just not familiar on how to pronounce it, bro. So apparently it's Gagan press. That makes sense because, you know, I should have just pronounced it in Japanese because I pronounce everything in Japanese these days because I'm learning the language. So I just read everything in Japanese so it would be Gagan Peresu. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> what am I saying, bro? This is so random. Yeah, so as you can see, we've got like bronze players all over the pitch. However, I don't think it matters too much since they've got high star rating anyway. But just for the future, we need to sign players or coaches, as you can see, who have more knowledge in the certain tactical vision. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's any experts in the Gagan press. I said it right this time. Thank you. So let me sign this guy, uh, Benedict Schuster, because he's accomplished. And I believe that was a midfielder, right? Yeah. So we're hiring this staff member, push him to the head coach. Let's sign another attacking uh, staff member who is under the Gagan press. Hold on, I've just realized something though. I've just realized something. If we do this, yeah, I'm not going to have any money for wages. Oh, well, let's just do it anyway, boys, innit? There's no rules. So we're up against Crawley in the preseason tournaments. They also play the Gagan press uh, tackle vision. Very weird formation, which I'm hoping to expose here. Um, and I'm not doing a training session again. Let's just kick off and jump into it. <laughs> Why is everyone knackered, bro? What? Why is nobody's stamina recovered? There was a good few days between games. Oh, last thing, by the way. <laughs> I promise this is the last one now. I want to change the camera angle because this one stinks. So EJ said the best camera angle is 20 height zero zoom on telebroadcast. So let's slap it on telebroadcast. I'm pretty sure that's what I used last year. Custom uh, 20 height and zero zoom and let's see how it looks in game we're gonna see some rotation to the team here layman gets the captain's armband i've threw this youth player bauer on the right attack and mid spot because i want to see how he plays with these play styles um and yeah that's all i'm gonna to do to the team let's jump into the game finally bloody hell lad this guy's been yapping let's go a special atmosphere and a grand occasion one the players and fans alike have been anticipating and the tension laden day it's quite an epic intro but they're hyping it up like it's a champions league bout we're literally in a pre-season tournament bro yeah you see i actually prefer the old camera angle because this one feels too zoomed in now I actually like the other one, the way we could see the whole pitch, but we'll deal with it for now. Is Schneider a new man in the team? Oh, Schneider, bro, chill, lad. He's trying to catch a body there. Getting beaten behind already. Oh, nice. Get that out, well in. Schneider. He's getting booked as soon as the ball goes out of play. Here goes Bauer, though. Let's see him with his play styles. I actually don't know what the play styles do on this, but... Here's Klein. We know about this guy from the first episode. Can he hit it from the edge? Oh, big tackle. What a tackle that is. Ref. That's never a booking, bro. Is that two players booked in the first, like, five minutes of the game? Good start. Get that out. Jones! A lad! Bro. We're shooting the other way. Why is he just headed it like that? That just scared the life out of me. Jones! Get off the pitch! He's just being booked. He tried to score a known goal. And now he's giving it away. He's selling. If they can... Bro, if we conceded there, he was getting sucked. Oh, yeah. First time using the uh, the Ayanami Ray white and blue kit. I like this one. Let me know what your favorite kit is in the comments. That's what nobody mentioned in the first episode, which I was sad to see. I thought I cooked with those kits, but nobody left a single comment about the kits, bro. Um, but let me know what your favorite kit is. The home, the away, or this one, the alternate third kit. Okay, I just don't know how to slide tackle. Is that a red card? Lad, how's that red ref? The Schmidt brother has just been sent off. How's that a red card, referee? Lad, are you kidding? He tackled him with his head, bro. Hold on, nah, nah. Where's the instant replay, G? He tackled him with his head. Like, I didn't even touch him with my feet, bro. Are you kidding me? 
I've complete. Okay, I've missed the player, but look, lad, I'm past them, ref. I've actually passed them. How is that a red card? He's tapped him with his left hand on his knee. And that's a red. Are you kidding me? Oh, I actually don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say, bro. All right, let me take Hanson off and throw a midfielder on, and then I'll just have to have a hole on the left. I can't believe that, you know. That's a joke, man. Bloody hell, bro. All right, well... Yeah, rule number one of FIFA 24, don't slide tackle because, you know, it's the most inconsistent animation I've ever seen. Oh, I thought that was another red then. I forgot he was booked. How's that a foul? That was such a nice tackle! Big tackle, Schneider. That is actually massive. Alright, now it's the counter. Oh, lad, I forgot we're down to 10 men. Got a gap on the wing. Here's Bauer. The youth lad. The youth lad we're putting faith in. Can he show out for the team? Oh my god, lad. We get tackled at the same point on the pitch every time. Nice press, though. Look at that. Is that Lehman? It sure is. The German Morgan Elliott. A lovely ball around the corner. Schneider. Lovely dribble and big save. Go on, son. Oh, that's such a tough angle. Go on, Lehman. Oh, what a block. Frederick is Jones now getting involved in the attack. Becker plays it forward. What a pass. Oh, lad. Go on, Bauer. And again. How many, wait there, how many players we got with the same name, bro? So there's like three Bowers, two Schmitz. In the box, Klein's there, what a ball. Oh, big tackle. We've only got one Schmidt left on the pitch since his brother got sent off. So we need a big performance from this man in left back. Lad. <laughs> oh. Oh, Schmidt's getting skinned. I wish it was him who got sent off and not his brother. The one in DM's actually really good. Oh, big save shoulder. Lad, come on. Ref! One minute at a time, yeah? That doesn't look like one minute to me. All right, second half. That was a very, very quick first half. Um, all our players are just slacking on stamina. I don't know why nobody recovered stamina from that last game. I don't know if I have, like, a training thing set up. But, and, I've, and we got a player sent off. I forgot about that. Good first half, though. Well, then, Jones. That's actually nice. Come on, Jones. Redemption. Redemption on my mind when I think about it. Shout out to Drake. Bro, ref, that's a red card. If my one was a red... How is that a yellow, but mine was red? How, Sway? How, Sway? I don't get it. How, Sway? Take a few steps back. You ain't got the answers, man. I don't get it. Something I've noticed about this game, yeah. You'll be running down the wing. This is completely unrelated to that tackle, by the way. You'll be running down the wing. You'll feel like you've beat their player. And then, like, at the last touch is when you just get tackled. Like, here, I feel like I've beat him. Oh, I actually have. Klein on his left foot. Oh, what a strike. Hey, this Bauer, though, is cooking. We might have to switch to a two-striker formation and play with these two up top together. Because this Jack Bauer... Not Jack Bauer, that's the guy from 24. I forgot his first name, but Bauer. Yeah, he's been cooking this game. Here he is again. Got some space to hit one. Oh, off the ball, go on, Lehman! Yes! Come on! Oh, is he offside? Oh, oh, referee, lad. Whoa, did you see that guy's face in the background? He looked like an alien, him. That's never offside. Oh, no, it's blatantly offside. Bad touch. Oh, he got so lucky. He got away with murder there. Annalise Keaton. Bauman, what? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, chill, G. I don't know what's with the shape of his head there. That was the weirdest header animation of all time, though. Oh, don't, do, don't sell me like this. Not another 90th minute goal to, to lose the game. Well, I've got no one in the box. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Big save, Schroeder! Come on! Maybe we don't need a goalkeeper. Touch that power, that's our ball. If it goes, ref, thank you. Good night. That was a actually massive save. Schroeder saw the comments calling him sus on Twitch yesterday. And he thought, nah, I'm putting on a show next episode, man, watch. I'm actually making a sub here because I don't even think we have many players to... Oh my god, our defence are dead. Literally dead men walking. Schmidt's coming off. Freddy Krueger is going to come on instead of Lehman. And we don't have much else to do. Let's bring Cater on in centre-back instead of uh, Balman. Okay. 
We, like, our squad is so slim, bro. And ball, ref. That's blatant on ball. Balman, what a player, mate. What a player in centre-back here. Lehman, ref! That's his that's second yellow, lad. Get him off the pitch. It's 10v10. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. The referee, Pov, goes crazy, though. Get out of his face, bro. Hey, that's descent. Book him as well, ref. Book him as well. That's ridiculous, though. That's two red card defences there. And he's only just got it sent off, bro. That's crazy. I can't believe the first one was not a red straight. Oh, Bauer, what a touch. Bauer, you sexy man. Bauer, you sexy, sexy man. Clan. Oh, lad, you stink, clan. You little dwarf, bro. How did he not scored that, bro? I was thinking about Snow White and his six dwarf mates. Schneider. Overlap, clan, bro. You're selling. I was bigging you up after last game. Freddy Krueger around the corner. Klein. Big tackle, Klein. Big hustle. Ball in the box. What a ball! Oh, lad, if Bauer was on his toes there. Yo, this is actually really fun. I'm enjoying playing with, like, these 50-rated players. Because when they do something crazy... Ah, oh, like, it just hits different, you know? <laughs> Big head there, Bauer. Oi. Nah, he's actually really showing out this game. We need to give this lad more game time. Jones is never playing again, though, in right back. Ref, these are so dirty. Nice though, Jones, you've just sold the counter, bro. That was the one. That was the one, G. Yeah, I have no idea, though, about those play styles, though. Remember, Bauer had, like, five of them. I don't know if there's something you need to do in-game to, like, activate them, if that makes sense. Um, like, it reminds me, like, Madden. On Madden, there's, like, X-Factor abilities and there's things like that. I don't know if they're an abilities thing or just, like, a passive thing in-game, but what a run that is from Keita in off the bench. Into Bauer. Round the corner to Kruger. Freddy Krueger, big save. Oh, let's go, clan. Inside. Oh, what a block. These guys are going crazy on the defense, you know. Ref. Oh, lad. Nil-nil with Crawley. Is that us out of the preseason tournament? We've lost one and drew one. I think that might be. But we'll go I think we have one more game, is it? You only played three games preseason, right? Um, yeah, we're playing FC Andorra. Leon Bailey. Wait there. Is that a real life sign or has that just happened in game? I swear he plays for Aston Villa. Crazy. Brighton have signed Conor Gallagher too. Crazy. Tony Cruz unveiled it. Whoa, why does he look like that, bro? Well, he looks like the witch from Spirited Away, bro. What's he, what's going on there? So big transfers getting made there. We need to pull the trigger on some of our transfer targets. Um, I've noticed she keeps shifting training plans. What are you talking about? Lehman seems below par. Yawn Lehman. I've not touched the training plans. Everyone's on balance, G. I don't know. We're playing Andorra, though. Andorra. Let's explore you. Let's get into this game. That was terrible. 4-5-1 formation for Andorra. Why is everyone knackered? Why do people... Am I doing something wrong here? Why is nobody recovering stamina? Seriously? Like, do I have to tell them? Yo, have a rest. So, I'm going to throw... Um, Cola at right back. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, let's try Schaefer at left back. Kruger can start in cam. And I'm going to start Bauer up top. Oh, yeah, and Schmidt's sent off, isn't he? So let's bring on the 48-rated Keller. I'm sure that'll be fun. I can't lie, yeah. Oh, this is a bit of a kick clash, isn't it? I'm stupid. You should know this by now. It's only episode two, but you should know this. <laughs> yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. I do that so much. I need to stop talking. <laughs> oh. Nice, Bauer. Look at that link up there. Hansen, lovely. One more inside. That's great play. Finish that off. What a goal. Let's go. Freddy Krueger. I've been in your dreams like Freddy Krueger. Nah, he actually looks cold. The haircut's a bit mad, but the beard is looking on point. That's a serious beard right there. That's the beard of dreams. That might be the beard of dreams. We are the dream chasers. And Freddy Krueger, bro. You might have the beard of dreams. That's very nice, though. That's how I want Lehman to play. But Lehman's not impressed so far. But remember back in the old dream chasers days, Morgan Elliott didn't impress right away. But he grew into his role, you know. And as soon as we find out how to fix this stamina thing, 
so we can actually play games back to back with people. Then we'll be flying. I'm gonna lose my mind at these referees, you know, in this game. Big strike, big save. Schroeder again. He saw we added Andre Gomez to our transfer targets and he was like, nah, I'm the guy for this season. This little link up again. We've got Freddy Krueger's movements is crazy. Ref. Thank you. Thank you, ref. Finally, something went our way. This kick clash is a bit weird, though. It's not even like that much of a clash, but Bauer from range. Bang! What a goal that is! Jack Bauer! 24 hours in a day, and he's sexy for all 24 of them. What a strike sorry i need to stop swearing on this year but what a goal bro what a goal are you kidding me hold on nah we're getting that again give me that again are you kidding me lad i said yeah i'm putting faith in this youth lad because he's got like about 16 traits look at this picking the ball up in stride running with it you see the space opens up move out the way cater bro bang what a strike Swerving away from the keeper. Hold on. If he extends his fingers there, he gets that. <laughs> or, or is it already past him? Oh, no. It's already past him, I think. But that's that's perspective for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, I felt like I was in Inception then. But what a strike, bro. Let's go. That is more like it. That's how we want to play football this season. Jack Bauer has got a start. I know Klein's our guy up top. But this, this Bauer guy, man, he's special. Maybe we don't even need to scout a striker this season. We've got these two. Absolute killers. Yeah, two striker formation then. Let me know the best two striker formation in the comments below. Do you want to see a 4-4-2? Is it more of like a 4-1-2-1-2? You know, diamond shape. What's the best two striker formation to use? Do we go five back? I don't think we have the, the facilities or the players for a five back formation to be fair. But Schroeder, what, what was that animation? Did he hit his head on the post then? Bro got concussion. How is that like an advantage? Get that out, big head. Freddy Krueger again, linking up with Bauer. Get off me. Ref! That's a red! See you later. Good night. Early bath. What? No card. No card. It's not a bad tackle, commentator! He's just tried to eat his ankles, bro, for breakfast. Do you mean not a bad tackle, lad? Surprised he's not injured off that one. That was Jack Bauer as well, our star man up top. If he got injured, I would I don't even know what I would have done. Oh, get that. Where's your reactions? Big tackle. Big tackle, Freddy Krueger. Hansen, get there. Bauer for two. This guy is incredible. This guy is incredible. I know we're playing Andorra, and I don't know where they're from, but yeah, this guy is him, bro. Has he just changed his hair color? Hold on. Why has he got black hair? Why does he look so brolic? Why does he look so brolic? He didn't look like that before. I swear, Dan, he's got blonde hair on his card as well. He does. Where did he get black hair from? What has he just gone like reverse Super Saiyan? Or he's Super Saiyan on his picture and he's just gone back to normal form. But why does he look so brolic, though? What's that like Super Saiyan 3? <laughs> what? Look, in game again, he's got gold hair. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Oh, uh, maybe that's one of his traits as well. I did say he had like five traits. One of them is just the Super Saiyan ability, you know? <laughs> Is Keller the 48 rated player into Horn overlap? Okay, Horn. Horn needs to get sold. In fact, yeah, I forgot we could even do that. We can sell players to generate money. I always forget that you can sell players on career mode and not just buy them. <laughs> See, how is that advantage? We hardly breathed on him, bro. Let's go, Bauer, again. Look at the hustle. And now he's playing through Freddy. Young Fred Fred. Overlap. Get there. Schaefer. You see that ball? What a ball. Win that horn, please. Otherwise, you're getting sold. Bauer! I love the hustle, you know. I love the hustle. Nah, I've decided that um, Jack Bauer up top is a saying. <gasps> no, 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 no! Did he just get megged? Come on, Schroeder. I was bigging you up last game, bro. Just for you to get megged. For real. Uh, nah, let, let me see the replay. If he did, I, it, he had his legs closed, I swear. As well, how would you get megged with your legs closed? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, let's see the replay. Okay, bad defending. Nice ball into the box. Nice touch. Bad defending again. Oh, no, he just went past him. I was going to say that's a stinker if he got megged, but... Nah, he just went past him. It's a stinky animation regardless. Let's go. Freddy Krueger and uh, Jack Bauer need to link up again. 
Fucking hell, Kruger lad, I'm gonna be in your nightmares tonight, bro, never mind you in mine. Keep playing like this. Oh my god, have these just picked it up a gear? Hold on, why did I call Bauer before Goku and then say he's Brolic? I should have called him Broly. He's literally Broly. Get that out. Oh my god, we're selling. We're selling. <coughs> Never mind, I was going Super Saiyan. And Dora's just done the same thing. Let me see if there's any people on the bench I can bring on. Everyone's knackered though. Why is everyone so tired? I don't understand. Frederick's knackered, but look at Bauman. He's dead. Literally dead. Let's get him off. But come on, we need another goal here. Now, I am literally playing a different team to the first half. This is not the same team I was playing. Get that out, Juju Smith-Schuster. Let's go. Hansen down the line. Why? Oh, my lad. If we can see you now, it's an absolute head loss. And no words, no words, no words. Come on. What are you up, lad? Why is the substitution stuck in the top left as well? Is this FIFA 23? Did you not fix any of the glitches from last year, EA? Oh my days. Bowers had a great game, but he's coming off. Lad, every time I see him, he gets bigger. What? He looks humongous. Speaking of Among Us, there's some imposters in our team. But um, I'm making Among Us jokes in 2023. It's crazy. We've brought on Lehman, and we've brought on Klein, the big boys up top. Are they going to behave like big boys... Well, I mean, they're not very big. Look at Klein, bro. He's five for five. I don't know why I called him a big boy, but... Nicely done. Nicely done. Maybe we should change from our tactic being Gagan Press into counter-attack. Because I do like counter-attack in football. You know? See, I was I just mentioned this before. You run down the wing and at the very last touch is when you get tackled every single time on this game. Win that. Lovely. Keita inside. Here's Lehman. Why is my controller so trash? I literally just charged it overnight. All right, boys, first win for the German Dream Chasers. It was a stressful one. We made it hard for ourselves. But if it wasn't for that saying up front, Jack Bauer, I don't know what we would have done. Freddy Krueger had a great first half as well. Second half, he absolutely reeked though. All right, so what I'm going to do here, boys, yeah. In fact, let me pick some of these low on fitness so you can see this. So I'm going to pick this guy, yeah. I'm going to put energy focused as the the plan so that should increase the fitness but it impacts the sharpness but i'm going to do that and we're going to apply it to the whole group so all players are going to be on the same thing so we should have a bit more focus on fitness right now which is what we want to see because our players are slacking big time so oh stag you yeah is that even how you pronounce it i've got no idea he's only 70 overall that's not too bad you know he's only on loan next season we could sign him for sure for sure look at his pace a defender with pace is all I care about, you know. 70 overall, though, if we still need a centre-back next season once he's back from his loan, that is the guy right there. Let's check out the Bajetic. 72 overall, okay, 4.4 million. Definitely not getting this guy this season. But still, exciting prospect. He's going to grow a lot this season, and then next season, hopefully, we have enough money to bring him in. I don't know how much money we're going to get next season, but we'll find out in, like, a two months' time or something, whenever we finish it, you know. We've also got the scout report back on Mathis Tell. He's lower than I expected. 3.7 million in his value. Exciting prospect again. Another guy that we're not going to be able to afford. I mean, we don't even need to get a striker right now. That's just for the future. And Rabiger is only 62 overall. Okay. Contract expired in 11 months. Do we get Rabiger on a pre-contract agreement by the end of the season? That could be um, a very nice move, you know. US Con Carnau have i'm trying to take keller i actually can't remember who keller is that's the 48 rated guy in it a loan to buy option let me delegate that um and just should we agree to it he's 18 actually nah we can send him out on loan a normal loan though yeah and then maybe he goes at least to 55 maybe that's wishful thinking right there but what 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 am i what what am, yo what am i seeing right now bro just to let you know that lasagna sports have agreed to pay the 650 pound release clause or 650,000 pound release clause for applicator no, what? He, why has he got a release clause in his contract, bro? That's our club captain. Star defensive midfielder, brick shithouse in the midfield. 
Keita, you best decline that contract. There's no way, bro. Why has he got a release clause? That's insane. Where is he? Six. Has anyone else got a release clause? Oliver Schuster has a 300k release clause. Why? Yo, I just didn't even expect to see that in someone's contract. 650k, though, actually, for a 30-year-old defensive midfielder. That's kind of pog. I can't lie to you. We probably wouldn't get that much money for him. Because his rating will start going down in a year or two. But still, bro, this was going to be the star guy this season. Look at him. He just looks dope. He just looks like a G. So we're going to have to get some... Yo, oh, how do we replace a man like that? Let's not panic too much. You know, this, the transfer might not even go through, bro. So let's not panic right now. Let's just get into the first game of the season. I'm going to start Bauer on the right-hand side for it. Hansen's coming to the bench and Horn goes to the left. Hansen was decent in pre-season, but... Nothing too crazy. Like I say, we are playing the first game of the season now. Um, Centre-back. Who should we play in centre-back? Uh, in fact, no. Bauman's been great in pre-season. Never mind. It's 54 overall. So that's the squad. Oh, let's jump into the first game of the season, though. In fact, before I do that, we just got loads of scout reports back. Dream Chasers fans stunned. Literally, I'm stunned, bro. I can't believe it. Stad Rene have signed Nico Williams. That is not... The Nico Williams I expected. <laughs> I expected the right back from Wales. My head's gone off that though, boys. I can't lie to you. Let me just show you what I was going to show you though. So all the free agents have come back. The scout reports anyway. Hey, yo. Cesar Huerta. Okay. 74 overall. 22 years old. Left winger from Mexico. I think we should just get this guy straight away. Kevin Alvarez as well. A nice little right back. That we And we need a right back. We're picking up two Mexicans right now. Nimrod Pat... Nimrod? Nimrod? Isn't that like an American slander term? What? Can I even say that on YouTube? Isn't that offensive? I don't know. I can't believe that that's his name, though. But he's 51 overall. The little Nimrod. He's getting removed from the shortlist. All right, well, in the office, we have 9.8k in the weekly wage budget. So let's see what these guys are chatting in terms of uh, their wages. 4.9 and 7.8 and 4.3 and 6.9. I think for sure we pick up the right back. And I think for sure we pick up Cesar too. 22 years old, room to grow there. We've got uh, Salman as well, who's a cheap little centre back if we need a, an option. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting these Mexican dudes. I'm getting this winger for sure. In fact, we should focus on the right back first. Let me get the right back first. 6.5 million value too, I've just noticed. So even if we sign them and sell them on next season... That's a nice bit of business for us, you know. I just hope he doesn't ask for too much money. Crucial first team player, of course you will be. One year contract length. Can we get two out of you? Can we get two? That's fine, let's go. No release clause, 6k in his wages. We can't afford that. We can't afford all of that, mate. Be realistic, like be for real. Be so for real. 40 grand wages or signing bonus even. Be for real, bro. Realize what you where you're coming. Oh, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Five grand, that's going to skint us. That is going to skint us. And we removed the bonus too. Submit that offer. Five grand. He wants seven. And he's just asked for more money. I've just took the money off and he's asked for more of it. Kevin. Kevin, if you say no, I'm kicking you out of my office. Seven grand. Kevin, I wanted to sign you, mate, but you're an absolute joker. Okay? Get out of here. I don't want to see your face at this club. If you don't want to play for this club, regardless of money, get out of here. We probably made a mistake there. Probably should have went all in for that guy. But I simply do not care. Let's go and get his Mexican friend, Cesar. Cesar, are you a child as well? Are you a joker? Crucial first team player, of course, mate. You're going to slot right in on that left wing. Can we get three years out of you, though? He looks a bit like Mo Salah, the Mexican Mo. That's what we're going to call him if we do sign him. We might not sign him. We might have to kick him out. That is a Mo Salah wannabe right there. Look at him. He just, he wants to be Mo. You can tell. It's in his face. So, recommend a wage 6.3. Let's just give him that. And hope he's not a child. You're only 22 years old, mate. This is the start of your career. Otherwise, you're going to sit in a free agent. <sighs> this guy thinks he's going to score 15 goals for us this season. And wants 190k for it. Listen. No Salah. Don't make me kick you out of the office as well. Look at Kate's shirt on the wall. And he's turning his back on this club. Or might do. 7k. He wants 8k and a signing bonus. We can't afford that, but it'll skint us. And I don't want to really do that. 
on No Sally. How about that? How about that? 8k and a little signing bonus. Let's go. First signing, Cesar Huerta. Welcome to the team, mate. Let's go. <laughs> I take back all the Mo Salah jokes. Welcome to the team, Cesar. Oh, lad, they've not changed the animations from last year. So we've just seen Cater and his undies. Are we going to get any other greetings from players? Look at that, lad. In fact, at least Lehman had some clothes on. Cater, I don't know if they're really tight shorts. Or if that's his boxers, bro. He's pulled up to the gym in his undies. Cater, chill, G. I don't know why he was eyeing him up like that. Wait there, why did that say Ala Madrid? That's not our kit. Why did it say Ala Madrid on the back? Hold on, do you know who you've just signed for, Huerta? That's not our kit. EA, come on, you just ruined me thumbnail there. Why is that not showing our kit, bro? You just ruined the thumbnail, EA. I hope you're proud of yourselves, EA Sports. You've ruined my thumbnail. Thank you very much for that. Anyway, A rating for that. We love that. Cesar Huerta, mate, welcome to the team. He's going to be a baller for us. We've spent a lot of money on that right there, but it is what it is. Let's check him out in the squad hub then. At club since, not, not great. Is there any room for development? Hold on. The jokes right themselves. He's literally picked up number 11. This is no Salah. <laughs> the jokes right themselves. Okay, 83 pace. Nice dribbling. Decent shooting passing. I like it. Left winger. Right footed. Should we boost up his weak foot? That seems to be the play, I think. It boosts up his shooting too. Let's go. Okay, let's jump into the game then. How long have I been recording for actually? Should we do one more game in this episode? I feel like we've done a lot. You know, we've had a signing. We've had two games in the preseason. You know what, actually? I'm going to end this episode here, boys. I'm sorry. But this was a bonus episode anyway, uploaded on a Sunday. Another episode will be dropping tomorrow on Monday, 5pm UK time. Then we'll be back to our usual routine of Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Hopefully you did enjoy this one. The start of a new career mode and a new season in general is always chaotic. You know, I've got to learn the menus for one on the new FIFA. Then we've got to go through all the admin stuff, you know, players, contracts, who to sell, who to sign, all of that stuff. So hopefully from here on, it will be a lot more smooth sailing and pretty straightforward. But if you have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, share and subscribe. We're going to start the three dot Liga in the next episode. Drop a comment on who we should replace Cater with when he does get sold, which is going to be very, very sad to see, because I wanted that guy to be a club legend, but <sighs> that is so just, welcome to the dream chasers, eh? Welcome to the dream chasers, if you're new, <laughs> storylines just come out of nowhere, bro. But if you have enjoyed, like, comment, share, subscribe, you know the vibes, I'll catch us next time, people, take it easy.